Jerry Lee Lewis, often sanctified and scandalized in equal measure within the realms of rock and roll history, has led a life which could be likened to a symphony laden with exhilarating highs and damning lows. Born in Louisiana in 1935, Lewis rocketed to stardom with his wild piano skills and fervent energy, embodying the rebellious spirit of rock and roll during the 1950s with hits like Whole Lotta Shakin' Going On and Great Balls of Fire. Beneath the triumphant echo of the music of Jerry Lee Lewis lurked a cascade of scandal and secrecy, painting his life story with strokes of vibrant success and veiled controversy. Join Facts First as we present tragic stories about Jerry Lee Lewis that reveal his dark side. Jerry Lee Lewis and Janis Joplin One of the often repeated tales suggests that the two legendary musicians, both known for intense performances and offstage antics, had an altercation that resulted in Lewis allegedly throwing a whiskey bottle at Joplin, who purportedly threw a glass back at him. Another version of the story says that when Lewis met Joplin at a high school reunion, he said to her, quote, You wouldn't be bad looking if you weren't trying to look like your sister. This resulted in Janice punching him in the face, and then Lewis slugged Janice in the face. He apparently yelled, If you're going to act like a man, I'm going to treat you like one. This story seems to be a part of the fabled lore of rock and roll, and while it certainly adds a dramatic touch to the rich and tumultuous tales of music history, the incident might be apocryphal and embellished over time. Both Lewis and Joplin undeniably led colorful lives, punctuated by incredible highs and devastating lows, and their genuine stories offer plenty of authentic, verifiable material to explore. Jerry and Chuck Berry Jerry Lee Lewis and Chuck Berry, both pivotal figures in the development of rock and roll, have a history that's often recounted with a mix of rivalry and mutual respect. Their interactions, particularly in the early days of rock and roll, were marked by a competitive spirit not uncommon among musicians of that era. One of the most recounted stories of Jerry Lee Lewis's interactions and purported jealousy towards Chuck Berry happened during a concert in the late 50s. The two musicians were part of a multi-act show, and there was a dispute over who would perform last, a coveted spot usually reserved for the headliner. Chuck Berry was slated to close the show, a decision that reportedly did not sit well with Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis, known for his flamboyant and often unpredictable behavior, decided to make his performance so spectacular it would be impossible for anyone to follow. He played a raucous set and famously set his piano on fire on stage, creating a spectacle that was both shocking and enthralling. After his performance, he walked past Barry, stating something to the effect of, Follow that, Chuck. Mysterious Death The death of Sean Michelle Stevens, Jerry Lewis's fifth wife, has been shrouded in mystery and controversy since it occurred in 1983. Stevens was only 25 years old at the time of her death, and she'd been married to Lewis for 77 days. The official cause of death was cited as a methadone overdose, but the circumstances surrounding her passing have been a source of speculation and suspicion for many years. Jerry Lee Lewis, often referred to as the killer in the music industry, not due to any violent tendencies necessarily, but rather his dynamic and explosive performances, has faced scrutiny and suspicion regarding the untimely deaths of his two wives. His fourth wife, Jaron Elizabeth Gunn Pate, also died under mysterious circumstances. In the case of Sean Stevens, rumors and suspicions were fueled by the fact that she was young, seemingly healthy, and her death was sudden and unexpected. Reports and biographies have suggested that the relationship between Lewis and Stevens was tumultuous, with allegations of physical abuse and violent arguments. Some accounts suggest that Stevens was planning to leave Lewis, which further complicates the narrative of her sudden death. The suspicions towards Lewis were exacerbated by the fact that he had a history of volatile relationships and was known for wild and often self-destructive behavior. But it's crucial to note that no concrete evidence has ever been presented to implicate Jerry Lee Lewis in the death of Sean Stevens. He was never charged in connection with it either. The suspicions and rumors surrounding Stephen's death remain that, unsubstantiated allegations. The tragic and mysterious circumstances of her passing continue to be a dark and puzzling chapter in the tumultuous life of one of Rock's most legendary figures. Jerry and his family Lewis's relationship with his children has been characterized by challenges and complexities. 
He's been married seven times and has fathered six children, and the dynamics of the family have been at times fiery and unpredictable. His issues with substance abuse and his often erratic behavior have also played a role in shaping his relationships with his family members. Jerry Lee Lewis Jr., one of his sons, played drums in his band and was often by his father's side during performances. However, the relationship wasn't without challenges. And like many aspects of Lewis's life, it was marked by highs and lows. Tragedy struck when another son, Steve Allen Lewis, drowned at age three, and Jerry Lee Lewis Jr. died at age 19 in a car crash, events that reportedly had a profound effect on Jerry Lee. His relationships with his wives and children have often been in the public eye, with reports of domestic disputes, divorces, and legal battles making headlines. The Lewis family dynamics have been further complicated by financial disputes and legal challenges, particularly related to royalties and assets. Despite the challenges and complexities of his personal relationships, Jerry Lee Lewis's family was always an integral part of his life and career. His sister Linda Gale Lewis is also a musician and occasionally performed alongside him. The Lewis family, despite internal conflicts and challenges, have been interconnected with the musical and personal journey of Jerry Lee Lewis. His marriage to his 13-year-old cousin Jerry Lee Lewis's marriage to Myra Gale Brown is perhaps one of the most controversial episodes of his personal life, significantly impacting his career and embedding itself in the narrative of rock history. Myra was not only 13 years old at the time of their marriage in 1957, but also Lewis's cousin once removed, adding further fuel to the scandal that would envelop the rock and roll star. The marriage came to public attention during Lewis's inaugural tour of England in 1958 when a reporter discovered that Myra, who was accompanying Lewis, was both his wife and a mere teenager. The revelation triggered an immediate and overwhelming backlash. Public opinion, especially in the conservative social climate of the 50s, vehemently opposed the marriage. The ensuing scandal effectively torpedoed Lewis's then burgeoning career. His tour was canceled and he was blacklisted from radio play, significantly diminishing his presence on the music charts. His performances were boycotted, and he was engulfed in a wave of media condemnation. Myra was thrust into the unwelcome spotlight of international scrutiny and disparagement, an undoubtedly overwhelming and challenging experience for a young teen. The couple, however, remained married for 13 years and had two children together before their union ultimately dissolved in 1970. Now it's time to hear from you. Does hearing about a performer being a troublesome person influence how you value their art? Let us know in the comments section below.